Brought to you in part by Jeff Myers and everybody at Donnelly Ford of Gallia. Doug Ludo and the Associates in Advanced Fiber Technology. Angie Tallman, Pizza Hut, Musaris, Gallion, and also uh, Matt Studer at Ken Stanley Seen Metal Rules for Farm, Home, and Business, along with Dwayne McCombs and everybody at Poet by Refining, Northwest Marion on the Hilton Ford Roads. Bob Gentleman joins us now. Coach, last week, a week ago, you told me that this Dalton Ball Club was very, very talented. How many kids they got in that team? Uh, I think they had 47 or 48. 48 kids. So they got twice as many kids as you do. Uh, a little better than that. A little better than that. So, I mean, you know, what is this fatigue a part of the situation? Because let's face it, they can send in a lot of fresh bodies. You can. Yeah, and that's just something we got to deal with. You know, we know that going in with only 20 kids, uh, we're not going to do that for next year. So, you know, we just need to go. I'll use it right for an now. excuse. <laughs> so. uh, you know, there were some interesting things. Uh, Avery Bulldozer had seven receptions for 125 yards, and uh, you had 188 yards of total offense in this ball game. Unfortunately, they had like what was it, 415 yards. Yeah, yeah, they did. Uh, they had a really good explosive offense, and they had a freshman that actually played in the second half. Threw off a couple big runs, 80 yards plus. He's a very talented kid. He's going to be a really good ball player. But, uh, um, yeah, we were able to uh, move the ball a little bit. We knew we were going to have a hard time running the ball, especially in between the tackles. Um, we were hoping to maybe get off tackle a little bit, but their defensive bats were very good. But they also play all-man cover, so we knew we could get Avery the ball out of the backfield, so we tossed him the ball, a little uh, flare passes and stuff. And he was able to make some yards. We want to put the ball in his hands as much as we can. I can see the point. You had 188 yards and he had 145 in the air. So you weren't really hitting the running backs too much. No, we didn't. I don't know what our yards per carry was, but I bet it's less than two. We yeah. had uh, doing very 1. well. 1.9. I did see that. Yeah, 1.9 in your stats that you sent me. Which, by the way, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, let's talk a little about uh, the fact that uh, Avery had a, a, a touchdown. Uh, and uh, you, you know, what do you got to do? What do you learn from this ball game that we can take into the future and hopefully uh, get some double use this season? Our big foe this whole year has been our mindset and expecting success. I think all these boys, if you look around, they know I say that every day that we need to go out there and work and expect success and not go out there and expect the worst to happen. Um, and that's what we're trying to do. You know, we're trying to come out of this ball game and even when we were able to. Show where we didn't come in with the best attitude, you know, thinking that we could have success. Or at least that's what I identified, and we've got to get better than that. So we got to approach Plymouth this week with the idea that we could go out there and be a successful football team. All right. We're going to talk a little bit about Plymouth in just a few moments. We've got four players around the table who I'm going to find out who they are during the commercial break. The tales come up on the show, and we'll be back right after these messages.